right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Dan. And now introducing the champion, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. He 
is all about that left kick to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Real nice body kick land. That was a thudding leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Oh. Cable oh. inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That was the thing. Nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Looked like he flipped him with a left hand counter there. And throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Counters with the right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, here's the head kick. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopped the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Shut your body off. Beautiful punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow has managed to land it with so much force. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. We got rocked that last round, but you're fine. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, round two. Oh, could 
continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big Superman punch there. Oh, big head can land. That punch no good. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and he lands another punch. He has got it all going tonight. He's got it all going. He landed this over and over again. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Liver, he continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. And both guys really throwing with authority. What a body kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big punch land. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. A oh, little single collar tie there. We march on three minutes to go. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Swing and a miss by Lee. Stiff that one out as he blocks the kick. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Good stick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Just misses with the straight left hand. Put him up. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Good work getting in the way of that knee. That's a big strike right there. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. What does he do now that he's back in the clinch? Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Oh. Hip into that kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Punch over the top. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the side with a beautiful leg kick. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So there it is. Taller fighter landing a knee to the body. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Huge block there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. In the books. Well, 
Oh, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage to the opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Unable to connect this. Nice one-two combination there. Just missed with the left there. Nice great punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Yes, they heard him in the last round, same exact one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh. Thursday, those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his time allows him to get that technique off. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big body kick. Battling for hooks. Single collar tie now. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the corner guard. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Left hand punches the clinch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice right hand. They continue to exchange. Wind it up on the right there to know. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, man. This round of not as good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. This problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land this beautiful strong ball. Well, he's got his back now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Liver kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the edge. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, he hasn't really showed any sign. Oh! What a fantastic fight to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Hands up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. All right, he engages in a single collar. Yeah, looks here. a little wobbly on his feet. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got it back! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Down into his mouth. I mean, how many can he take? Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over! It's over! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So yeah. there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water. The moment that belt changes hands, a lot of guys will be looking to take it from him. But congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.